You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You are watching Joburg today. On today's show, Dr. Teddy Bletcher joins us to discuss the Maharishi Institute and how they're playing an important role in the educational landscape. Dr. Teddy Bletcher, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Kay. It's wonderful to be here in the studio. Lovely to have you. Can you tell us a little bit about your organization? Our organization is the Maharishi Invincibility Institute. Uh, the organization is now 17 years old, I think this year. Yeah, we started in 2007. Um, we offer what we call world-leading education for all. So within the Maharishi Invincibility Institute, we have a college, we have um, 12 industry vertical professional academies to train people for critical scarce skills jobs. Uh, we also have our own high school, we have a preschool. Um, we're located in the Johannesburg CBD is our main head office, uh, but we're also located actually in 12 locations across four countries. Mm -hmm. So we're in eight locations in South Africa, and then we're also in Zimbabwe, Zambia, and now in Brazil. What is your main proposition to society? Our main proposition is that education uh, really is the thing that can change, and building human capital is the thing that can change the future of a person's life, their family's life, and a country, and the world. Mm -hmm. And so we focus on a very holistic approach to education that we call consciousness-based education. And we've had now a 95% job placement rate mm -hmm. over the last 20 years of, of doing this. So pretty much every one of our graduates does get into a good quality job. Can you tell us a bit about why this organization was established? It was established, I think, out of a passion and love uh, for firstly education and secondly for the people of South Africa, knowing that you know when apartheid ended, um, like myself, for example, I was qualified actuary, I've got four degrees, I've now got two honorary doctorates. I was about to immigrate and go live in the US. I'd organized papers for Australia and New Zealand. This was the year 1995, Nelson Mandela came into power in 1994. And I was literally on the verge of getting on the airplane to go off to New York. Mm -hmm. and, and two weeks before leaving, stayed up all night one night, cried my eyes out. Mm -hmm. I uh, went the next morning to go see my mother and I said, I'm not leaving. I want to go into education and help young people in our townships and our communities. I spent four and a half years in Alex Township, in Soweto and in Davyton, but particularly in Alex. I mean, we were just up and down London Road all the time <laughs> and Second Avenue and all these places. We worked with 9,000 school kids uh, in these schools. And coming out of that, we realized that thousand, look, millions of kids have mm. either dropped out of school or finished high school. Now remember, fees must fall was not a reality then, that was 20 years before. And we decided, could we start the first free post-secondary education in the country? Mm -hmm. So we would start like university level, high school, um, uh, for people who hadn't done well in school, and then we would create all these kinds of industry verticals to get people into quality jobs. And that was the idea. I literally got the idea one day getting into the shower um, and you know, after we've been working in Alex all these years, why don't we start this, uh, you know, free, free education movement? Mm. And it's really just been a journey from then. We had to start from nothing, but where we are now is extremely exciting. Mm. Now, the Anglo-American has donated a building uh, yes, to yes, your organization. Right. Can you tell us about that merge? Okay, this is like a major breakthrough. Mm. It is probably the biggest thing that's ever happened to us. This, this is Anglo-American's main big head office building that they've been in. I mean, Anglo-American's 105 years old. Mm. This building was built by Sir Ernest Oppenheimer mm. back in 1948. Um, it's over 75 years now. And it is magnificent, A grade, 42,000 square meters. We can fit about 3,500 students in the building. Anglo moved to Rosebank and they announced about three and a half years ago that they were going to be moving. And they allowed about 10 of the biggest organizations in South Africa to be part of like an RFP process mm -hmm. to, in a sense, win this building or win other buildings or offer to buy the buildings or et cetera. To cut a long story short, we weren't even allowed to be part of that process because um, you know, we're a nonprofit, maybe considered too small. Um, so it was just like the biggest universities in the country, it was the biggest property developers in the country, etc. Um, and then just through a, a series of actually like working hard to be allowed to be included in this process, we went from being excluded to being called like rank outsiders to plan B. 
And finally, after three years and two major due, diligen due diligences, mm. uh, this, the global CEO of Anglo wrote on the 31st of January to say, we are being given the building. Mm. Now, they were offered four offers of over 100 million rand to buy this building. In the end, they turned down all that money to give it to us. Why? To give it to the youth of mm. Josie. The mm. youth, um, this, you know, this is the gold of the future of Johannesburg. It's not what's under the ground. It is our young people. That's where the potential and the talent sits, our future sits. Those are our future entrepreneurs, our future leaders. Mm. And Anglo is saying, let's give it to an organization that exclusively works with marginalized youth who all around the city, either inside the city or all around, whether it's from Soweto, Orange Farm, Davyton, Katlong, Fosleris, Sebekeng, Beckersdorf, all these places, these are our students, mm. and Anglo has really given this as a gift for the youth of our city forever. Mm. And it's, it's huge. I mean, it's a huge, huge gift. Indeed it is. Now, what is the scope of um, your organization? Can you also tell us what the courses are that you offer? Perfect. So, so we give students access to, uh, firstly, if they want to study a degree, um, they can do an internationally recognized degree through a partner university that we work with in the U.S. It's recognized in South Africa and all over the world. So we've put thousands of students like in, in South Africa through degrees. Um, and as I say, we've had a 95% job placement rate. Everyone gets employed. Um, then, then we have ourselves, the Marish Invincible Institute, we have 44 accreditations mm -hmm. across nine different CETAs. So the bank CETA, the insurance CETA, the ICT CETA, the um, services CETA, wholesale and retail CETA, CAT CETA, etc. Plus we are accredited as well with the QCTO, which is the new Quality Council for Trades and uh, Occupations. So across those different qualifications we've got, we've also got 80 industry examinations. So say you want to become like a software developer, you want to become a cybersecurity engineer, you want to become a network engineer, you want to become like an investment banker or go into stockbroking or corporate finance or any of these kinds of things, you want to become an insurance professional, etc. Uh, we offer this range of academies all in areas where there are jobs available, where people can earn really great salaries, properly come into the middle class and change their lives. And that's what we focus on. Then the high school is really a, a prep phase because we've been recruiting so many thousands of kids over the years coming from all of the kind of schools in the, you know, in the province. But, but because like the standards of education are not quite what one hopes, we also started our own high school now where we take kids from grade eight we can take them up to grade 12. They're 100% on scholarship, but it is like being in a booster camp. I mean, it's like just going for gold. It's like to be the top of the top. And then those students have free access into all the postgraduate studies that we offer. So basically they can go from grade eight, even up to like kind of the direction of a master's degree, mm. um, all of it fully funded. Mm. And uh, so that's really what we do. The preschool is like, say we've got young mothers a young mother from Orange Farm. She's got two little children. Um, she's now going to, you know, herself, say, become a cybersecurity uh, analyst. Um, she'll probably be earning a half a million rand salary, you know, two years after graduating, a million rand after five years for sure a year. Um, but, but while she's studying, she's got these little children like that she's very worried about leaving in the township. So by having a preschool, that's really safe, world-class Montessori education. She can put her kids in the preschool while she's studying, and then it just takes the whole family forward. Mm -hmm. So really, this is a poverty alleviation machine. It properly brings people into the middle class, and then it, as a result of education, and about 5,000 of our graduates have become successful entrepreneurs. So those are people who want to go on and create their own businesses, their own jobs, mm -hmm. um, but the rest are employed across South Africa, Inc., how does one apply for to become a member? To become a student at the Mauritian Invincible Institute, we have um, we have open days uh, on campus. So somebody comes in for an open day, you mm -hmm. can apply online to attend an open day. We also have got a twenty four seven WhatsApp uh, channel, so we could give you that number, so anyone could just ping us on the WhatsApp channel, um, and and then we also on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, LinkedIn, etc. So people can get in touch with us. What does the future hold? The future is incredibly bright because uh, we've seen this works. Mm. We, we have the system of education. It's so loving. It's so developmental. 
We call it consciousness-based education. It's about developing the whole person, as I was saying. For us, it's not just about the intellect. Mm. Yes, you can pass an exam or a test, but you know, an employer is not employing a piece of paper. They're employing a human being. Is that human being passionate? Are they honest? Have they got incredible ironclad integrity? Are they able to think on their feet? Are they passionate? Are, are they a leader? Uh, you know, these are the qualities we need to develop, and these are the things we focus on. And that's why employers love our graduates. So we've got some employers that have employed hundreds of graduates from us, mm. some of the big insurance companies, the big banks. We've put probably over 600, over 400 in every one of the major banks in the country. And, and so this is what employers are looking for, and that's what we focus on is mm. how do we develop a beautiful talent. We've got mm. this incredible youth talent that's being thrown away. Mm. Everybody thinks these youngsters can't do anything, mm. and we're here to prove that wrong. And uh, we've done it now 22,000 times. Uh, we've got over 20,000 young people into A-grade jobs. I mean, top quality jobs. We're gonna do it 100,000 times. That's our target, 100,000 young leaders for South Africa proving that these youth are gold, mm. that they should not be thrown away by society. We don't get a cent from government. Our students, the maximum any student has ever paid is 200 rand a month. Mm. They get all books, all materials, 10 hours a day of education. They get meals every day. They get even clothing support if they need clothing. We take them away on leadership uh, camps. Everything is covered. I mean, like everything is covered. And so it's an open door for a young person to change their life. Dr. Teddy Bletcher, what an amazing initiative. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your time. So grateful for your time, Kay. Thanks a lot. What's your content fix? Is it tourism and entertainment? Lifestyle? Health and fitness? Perhaps it's current affairs? Or just business? For the best local content, live and on demand, watch it anywhere, on any device. You'll find it all right here on Joburg Today. Essential. Relevant. Authentic.